okay, these are just some healing games that I play with my own dogs. Um, once they understand that reinforcement zone is the absolute best place to be. Um, Faith has not done anything like this for probably 16 months since they got magic. Um, so for sure she hasn't done anything like this for 16 months. So I have no idea how it's going to go, but it will give you some ideas of things to do. I am going to repeat that your dog must be able to do freak, this first. So being in reinforcement zone, getting food, notice how my hand is coming down, her feet are on the ground. Don't know why I'm doing this on my left, I never work on my left. Good job. And then, <laughs> And then leaving one step and saying freak and having the dog approximately come in and stop there. My ideal would be that when I say freak, that she actually comes in to perfect heel again and does that. But again, we haven't done this in a long, long, long time. So freak, good job. So high hand touch for her is an energizing touch is an energizing reinforcer. I'm still at the point where I need to, or I want to pay it, I want to pay it 90% of the time, so that when I use it elsewhere, and I may not have food with me, um, I don't. I don't have to pay it, but I want to pay my secondary reinforcers lots. So, healing games. So, do a little bit of warm up healing with her. Her healing is crap right now, just so you know because we haven't done it for 16 months with me, which is why I'm using my cue with me and not my cue beside with me. Good. With me. Good. I don't care if she sits. Good job. Get it. Get it, cookie. I don't care if she sits when I stop because I can cue that. <coughs> and my preference actually is not to have a cue or not to have an automatic sit because with the Caro 360s and 270s, if you have an automatic sit and the dog sits because you've slowed down, you will end cue. So, some healing games. I am going to bring her in the heel, or my beside position, and feed it a couple of times, perfect reinforcement zone. And then I'm going to release, break, cookie. Let her get the cookie, and then I'm going to change position. Good, and when she comes back in, break the cookie. And I'm gonna change position. I can do it on my right, see if she can come to my right this time. She's gotten slightly, Faith, Faith. Hi, she got really distracted by the toys. She said toys are better than cookies right now, mama. Break. Try to find the cookie. Turn it around. Yeah, good girl. Can she follow me? So it's just all really good ways of being high energy. Whoop, freak. Good, nice. And then we can also do some comb work. So this is another uh, comb, another game. I want my dog coming back into heel. Whoop, hey. Hi, can you help it up? I want my dog coming back into Hang on, dog training issue. Good girl. I want my dog coming back into heel, perfect heel, 80% of the time, doing one step, doing two steps, doing a slight turn. Uh, if I lure them out, having them ping pong back or rubber band back in, I want all of those steps before I start churning my body around. Um, and especially before I start spinning. So remember that every time you make it more difficult for your dog, you can make them frustrated. I do not want to get frustration. I want to build on success. Many people want to build on challenging the dog. Um, I think you can do that if you have a strong history of success. Hey, break. So we're gonna do some homework. Me.
think what leads things to hurtful is actually my position. Oh, well, maybe it does, my position. So because she was so crooked that time, I just brought her back in before I fed. Ready? Go. Nice. Good job. Go. Yay, good girl. 